Hey folks, Silvius here. I am in Rafitan or something like that. Not sure exactly how to pronounce that crap. Um, you know what, before I do anything else, let me just clear the server log. Seven strong health potions on me. Wrong backpack. <clears throat> 152 crystalline arrows, 105 uh, mana pots, and seven of those, and 31 of those. So I just wanted to kind of go over what I've got on me here. So we are here to kind of explore the city area. Um, if you can kind of look at my map, I've lightly explored it on my own. Uh, <laughs> actually, I died here. On I almost died here, getting here. It was kind of funny. Um, I'm not really sure what exactly is around or really what's the deal with most of these monsters. I lightly looked up the, um, the guys. Um, I forgot to open up backpacks. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like lightly looked up a couple of these monsters and things like that. Um, I would not in any way, shape, or form say that like I really know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't think I can actually use this, right? Yeah, I don't think so. You have to be like a citizen or some jazz like that? I don't know. I'm not really sure how this like newer stuff works. Um, TibiaWiki is usually actually like a pretty poor source of information a lot of times, <laughs> and this is definitely one of those times. Um, I mean, like TibiaWiki is obviously your only source a lot for info, but um, very frequently TibiaWiki doesn't really explain like detailed concepts. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you're looking to just see like you know, <laughs> if a monster will run around firewalls or something like that, TibiaWiki has that info for you for sure. But uh, it doesn't have things like, here's exactly the deal with this place kind of stuff. Um, so I don't really know how this place all ultimately ends up working out. Um, word of warning for people who are going to use these like walls. Um, because you can't go around the staircase and this going up this ladder always pops you up on this side, there's no way to get to the other side. So be a little cautious when you're... Um, trying to, like, avoid monsters by going up through these halls and stuff like that. Uh, I actually got into a little bit of a, <laughs> a difficulty on the on the downside <clears throat> by, like, luring two of them into those walls and then trying to, like, sneak around them. Didn't work so well. So I know these dudes are resistant to physical. Um, they appear to be weak against electric, which is what I kind of saw. Um, is that an actual house? <laughs> Look, a door that I'm not going to be able to get through. Right? Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not leaving the city. Um, I will do a, another video of whatever is out there, kind of. Um, but yeah. So these sewer grates, you can only go down some of them. Uh, it is actually clear. Uh, by the way, also, all these buildings can be entered, in case you're wondering. I think you can... Can you shoot through the windows? Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, this house actually kind of sucks. <laughs> eh. So, you can kind of, um... <clears throat> it's a little bit risky, especially as a paladin, because of their physical resistance, but you can easily kind of run these guys around the buildings here, is what I've uh, experienced. The only issue is uh, the respawn is usually pretty quick, and they are high HP, and they kind of don't die very quickly type enemies. Um, also, multiple enemies here use Curse, which is uh, great if you've got, like, death resistance, which, uh, as a paladin, I do. <laughs> Bronze gear wheel. I've actually not looted one of those before, so I'm not really sure what that is. Um, I don't have a lot of it, though. I've only got, what, death protection on my pants. Does anything else have death protection? Okay, my helmet also has death protection. Good to know going to put the looted potions in there just so that I can keep track of them. Uh, yeah, so none of these guys hit particularly hard. Um, they're definitely not fast, which makes this great. Uh, they also, these guys, whoa, wow, really, that's some impressive lag right there. Okay. Wow. That was impressive. Um, 
that was <laughs> that was probably I should probably head back at this point <laughs> cuz that was that's kind of crazy um in a very bad way by the way uh one of the nice things about this place is there's actually quite a few like safe spots um nobody spawns up on these walls so if you do need like to i don't know take a phone call just cool down for a minute um you can i don't think anything spawns really in this immediate vicinity but if you go up this way you'll start running into yeah you'll start running into the minos minos yeah, you'll run into miners up that way. Um, but in this, like, immediate area down here, um, nothing's here. I would not go, like, completely AFK around this area. Um, if you go through the portal, you'll pop out. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, if you go through the portal, that can happen. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, up here, you're pretty safe going AFK. Um, I don't think anybody can really push you anywhere dangerous up here? Yeah, because if you go AFK down there, I'm super lagging. Wow. Um, if you go AFK down in that area, like, somebody can kind of push you around, so I would be a little cautious about that. Um, what is going on? Are these windows I can shoot through? Those appear to be windows I can shoot through. Cool. That's kind of cool. I feel like I'm probably, like, screwing up somebody's, like, somebody definitely made like an effort to get these things in these areas and I'm ruining it for them. Yeah. But hey, it's all good. <laughs> so these windows you can shoot through, I guess. Those windows you can't. Open window. What's that? Closed. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Boop. <clears throat> but yeah, um several of these buildings have like second stories and nothing spawns on top of the second story uh so that's another spot for you to be able to go to if you need to pretty sure the nails are basically worth nothing so i'm not bothering with them um da, 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 da. i'm actually super concerned about that like burst of lag i had that was very not ha fun <laughs> Um, rusty golem. The rusty golems are faster than the uh, the gargoyles, and also I'm pretty confident they're a little bit harder, or uh, hit a little bit harder. Is what I'm looking for. Um, yeah. They also paralyze, which I totally forgot about, and then almost died. <laughs> um. Well, there you go. I'm gonna blame all this on lag. Because I am still lagging, and it is still freaking out a little bit. Yeah, somebody definitely did this, like, intentionally, which is kind of cool. Um, for them, great for them. It's unfortunate for purposes of my video. But yeah, like I said, you can kind of go up here. Um, you know, nobody can... Uh, <laughs> I'm lagging furiously again. Um, nobody can kind of really get you when you're... Uh, up those areas. Nobody can push you places. Uh, if you're on a PvP world, you can still get PK'd, but better than nothing. But yeah, these buildings that have multiple doors are actually really nice for um, the obvious reason, so that you can kind of run them in a very small area instead of needing to run around the entire building. Uh, because like I said earlier, the respawn is kind of rough, kind of quick respawn here. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't proceed further that way. That is the one <laughs> sewer that you can go down. Um, and I almost died to it because of stupid reasons, but... Is that like somebody's... Huh. Interesting. Huh. Uh, well, yeah, I almost died in that one because I uh, didn't... <laughs> I was kind of just, like, clicking on all of the um, sewers to see if I could go down any of them. So I wasn't really expecting... Do I have rust removers? That's cool. Oh, plate legs. Yay for plate legs. Um, I wasn't expecting to actually be able to enter that sewer. Um, it's a person. 
Did that person go kind of right where I wanted to explore? I believe so. Yeah, so now I'm over in this area and I don't really know what's the deal with any of these monsters. I don't know how tough these gluth blobs are. This is gonna be uh, how I die, by the way. And I have no idea what this quest log stuff being updated is. Oh, ah, I'm probably dead. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay. Not cool. I think I'm probably going to end this video soon. Yeah, like, wow. That is uh, some impressive lag I've had twice now. Yeah, I want to see how hard the rot elementals hit. Not hard, apparently. How much EXP do they give me? Yeah, they're not huge EXP monsters. Okay. Am I lagging out again? Yep, lagging out again. This video is done. I am going back. We are, we are done here. This is over. Um, yeah, wow. Really unfortunate. <laughs> Horrible lag. I was positive I was dead there. Positive. I'm pretty sure these gloof weapons, by the way, uh, like break immediately or something like that was my understanding of them. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. It's, uh, it's a shame that this turned out this way. Uh, well, yeah, I wanted to go down into the sewers again also. Um, wow, I'm having a hard time finding the, the real one. <laughs> Is this a building I can... Okay. Do, do. Yeah, like I said, um, the... Oh, God. <laughs> I guess... I don't know if something mana drained me or I just wasn't paying attention there, but I had a lot less HP than I... Or mana than I thought I did. And then, yeah, as I was going to say, all these... Um, all these dudes here are making it hard for me to tell which one I'm supposed to be hitting on my uh, thing. And then I wasn't eating food either this whole time. Okay. This is great. <laughs> this is a uh, this is like a scary scary process for me. Oh hey, I didn't even realize you can go into this one. What's up here? I guess you should probably be like a little cautious when you're uh, going into these places just to make sure that you're not um like there might be something in any of them, so you shouldn't just like stick your head up there and hope for the best exactly. Especially when you're, like, lagging fiercely. Anyway, yeah, kind of going back to how I almost died at that sewer. I wanted to make a video of that sewer, too. Wow, this is unfortunate. Um, is that the one I killed? I guess that is the one I killed. Uh, I did really want to do a little bit more for this video, but it's just not happening. Is this a... Oh! <laughs> I didn't realize that that um, weapons rack would prevent me from moving. Come on. I don't know what his uh, poof range is, and I don't want to walk him through it. Um, yeah, but anyway, so I, I accidentally like clicked on that sewer and was able to go down that one and wasn't really expecting it. Um, and unlike... Let me see if I can find a ladder real quick. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> clearly anybody who's played Tibia enough to get to this place would understand that to go up this ladder, you... you control click on the tile that the ladder like drops down onto which is right here like you everybody knows that you don't control click the the actual ladder you click the tile right um well okay so that almost killed me because that's not how the uh, the ladder in the sewer works um the ladder in the sewer you instead need to control click the actual like tile of the wall so when I dropped down, I couldn't immediately figure out how to get back up. And then, like, you know, I go down there and there's, like, two gluth golems and, like, two gluth anemones or, and whatever those are called. And all these other things. I'm, like, panicking because all these things are kicking me in the face. And I couldn't figure out how to get back up. So, yeah, it was, a, it was kind of a scary process. All right, we are going to... I'm just going to pull up my loot pick now. Um... I'll pause, I suppose. It's been a long time since I've done a video like this. This has been a while. Hold on, let me pause. All right, folks, pardon the uh, scene change. Actually, I wanted to go check and see how much money I could get for the uh, the Gluth Blade. 
Um, the loot pick, which I actually just forgot to add, so let me go do that now. Come to think of it, I've never added a thing into the middle of these without pausing, so this may or may not be an extremely strange process. Um, there we go, that just pop up. I don't know how this is working. I'm kind of interested. Can you guys, like, see it actively expanding, or does it only show up when I, uh, I currently move it? Anyway, <laughs> there's my loot pick. I basically killed nothing. Um... A grand total of what? Yeah. <laughs> Nine gargoyles, seven uh, rust heap golems, four the gluth whatevers, and one rot elemental. Yeah, basically nothing. Um, lag kind of ruined this video. Sorry. Uh, still decent profit, decent EXP gain. I like that my EXP gain and my profit were basically exactly the same. Um, <laughs> well, 3k to 30k, but still, same difference. Uh, so yeah, I was able to sell the gluth blade for uh, 1.3k on the market instead of 1.5 so decrease my profit by 200 gp if you will um otherwise i mean this was like pretty profitable i would say it had like relatively low risk associated with it um outside of the horrible lag that i experienced and i did experience some horrible lag um but hey yeah that's it so I will do another video, I guess, of the sewers. I want to do another video of the outside area, and I want to do another video of whatever was over those bridges that I didn't really get to because I was stricken with horror lag. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it for now. Not really much else I can do. Um, all right, people. So like, favorite, comment, subscribe, check me out on Patreon, Twitter, Facebook. You guys know the drill. And I will see you folks later.